First at six, heartache for a family when a car crashes into a Waterford Township pond, leaving a woman and her daughter dead. It happened at Saybrook Condominium Complex near Crescent Lake and Pontiac Lake Roads. 7 Action News reporter Anupa Kosh talked to the victim's family about this horrific tragedy. Lloyd Siren told me off camera that it was his wife and daughter who were in that car. He tried desperately to save them, but they didn't make it. From Chopper 7, you can see the car that wound up in the pond of the Saybrook Point condominium complex before 11 this morning. Inside, Lloyd Siren tells me, were his wife Mary of 59 years and his daughter Maureen, who was disabled. But she and his wife Mary both needed a walker to get around. Mr. Siren says the three of them had stopped at Maureen's place after a doctor's appointment. He left the car running for some air conditioning because it was so hot. He ran inside to pick up some laundry. When he came outside, the car was in the pond. Margot Davis lives in the complex and talked to Mr. Siren. He said that he just left the car for five minutes, pick up some stuff from the the condo and then when he came up the car was already you know in the water. Lloyd Siren told me he jumped in the water and tried to break the glass with the rock but couldn't. He then ran to the road to flag down someone for help. Only after 10 minutes did someone stop. That woman called 911 and stayed at the scene. Police and fire crews got there. They used an axe to break the window. They managed to get the women out of the car and rushed them to the hospital but Mr. Siren says both his 82 year old wife Mary and daughter Maureen didn't survive. He says he doesn't know for sure what made the car roll down into the pond. Mary Siren was the mother of five. Maureen leaves behind an 18-year-old son. Neighbors say they're heartbroken for the family, especially Mr. Siren, who tried so hard to save them. This is the last thing we expected to wake up to today. You know, she's just, well, sure, my wife has talked to her before. She's just a very, very sweet lady, and God, God bless him. He's, he's got to be beside himself. It's just very sad, losing both of them at the same time. Even with all their grief, the Siren family really wants to thank that woman who who pulled over to help. They say she is a hero and they're grateful for everything she did. In Waterford, a new precaution, 7 Action News.